whatever that was, that's what's gonna be popping tonight. This is the star of the show. You ain't gonna believe what it is. You're really not gonna believe it again. Welcome to Ride the Rule, these cool super Saturday extravaganza, uh, flabbergaster, smorgasbord of smell goods, sniffalations, and hydrobachanjanations. Hope everybody is well. Uh, actually, I actually did a 33 minute and 10 second video and the screen didn't straighten up. I was playing with it before I started. I'm thinking the screen gonna automatically reset itself when I went to horizontal. Looked at the video at the 33 minutes and 10 seconds. Video like this. Oh, unbelievable. I tell you, man, these no fours, you never know what you're gonna get. But uh, I did a whole bunch of stuff, so I can't recreate create what I did, really. But I will um, try to, okay? Let's, uh, I'm gonna leave out two things that really ain't no need in talking about, which is some truth by revelations, perfumes. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, I have four bottles of it. Anybody want some truth by revelations perfume? Let me know. $300 a mil. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Why don't y'all calm down? Holler at your boy. Can't see my face because that base is in the way. The base is blocking the light. Why is the base blocking the light? Every time I move over to the base, they move the base out the way. See if the base is in the way. Now can you see me? See, you can see me more. Base in the face. Let's get the base over here with the other base. Well, lean it up right there. And don't move. Stay there. Oh man, yo, I supposed to be over here doing some stuff with my program with logic and everything, trying to get that together. And here I am messing with y'all, done wasted a whole half hour, and now I'm back at it again. So let's get back at it. Let's do this. Let's holler at your boy, Roger Real Deep Cool 100. Again, hope everything is well with you. Hope you're being blessed. And uh, you know what I mean? Keep the faith. Keep it up in prayer. I pray for you each and every day and every night. So let's go. Let's start off with VCA Voice, the iris. I had a little sample of this, about about three mil that they gave me to give you like these little samples of Neiman's. About three mil, so I figured I'd put it all in here, spray it out, and I liked it. It's like a combination of Orchard de Vanille, Precious Oud, Ombra, Imperial with iris in it. It's all those mixed up with iris. Tell you, it has the vanilla signature. It's nice, but it's too light in the shorts, and it doesn't last long enough for 125 mil. I mean, 125 dollars for a 1.5, nor 2.5 mil for 195. Not this, not that. So if you can find it online somewhere, a little bit cheaper, under 100. I mean, it's a real nice scent. I'm telling you, it's a real nice scent. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not like oh, it's horrible smelling or something. No, it's very nice but it's too light in the shorts. If you buy this for a dude, you're gonna have to wear it out for the evening. You can't wear it during the day, can't wear it in the springtime, can't wear it in the summer, can't wear it in the fall, can't wear it in the winter, because it blows away after two hours, I don't care when you wear it. You can wear it to the bathroom. If you sit in the bathroom for two hours, it's gonna be gone. Voice the Iris VCA, not bad, too light in the shorts. Brian Park by Bond, New York. Brian Park. This is from the infamous box. That my man turned me on to with the four Harrod Oods. I mean, Harrod Ambers. This is part of the box along with those uh, mixtures of... Uh, so obviously this place, wherever he got these from, was actually doing mixtures for this company. Certain ones. Obviously they did the Harrods, and obviously they did the Brian Park. Because I compared it, after I got a sample, uh, I mean a spray sample, went to a swatch out of uh, uh, Saks uh, last week, last week, Thursday, and I mean Thursday, and yes, the same exact thing, Brian Park right there. They make it right there in the shop. Brian Park, their Harris, who's supposed to be London exclusive only, they make it there and then they ship it to doggone London. Ain't that something? Am I what I'm supposed to say that? Oops. Sorry, but that is official. It's definitely official. 
All right, so Brian Park. Let's talk about Brian Park. I wore it tonight with the star of the story, which is on this wrist. I wore it tonight, and I think I talked about it already before, but we'll, we'll do it, we'll talk about it again, because the rhubarb. My thing is I smell Clive Christian Woman's X. Has rhubarb in it, it's fruity, just like this. Same thing, same holla at your boy, this is it. This, no, will give you a headache after a while. You can't spray too much of this. Definitely a summer joint, you can definitely wear this in the winter. It'll last all, it'll last all day in the winter, I'm telling you. This is a winter piece. So I had the female smell the start of the story in the consignment shop, Green Street Consignment, Germantown Avenue, Chestnut Hill, and I had her smell Brian Park on this arm. She's like, yeah, that's nice right there. I said, do you see a man wearing it? She was like, yeah, because it kind of smells like something else that I smell, which is kind of womany, but they make the man version still almost smell the same. So yeah, I think you can wear that. And again, now that it's drying down, you can. It doesn't stay bright, bright and vibrant. All right, let's talk about it. Pink pepper, rhubarb, lily of the valley, patchouli, rose, amber, and raspberry. And here it is. There it is, pre-formulated. Before it makes it to the beautiful Brian bottle, they had already made it right there, sitting right there, bashing everything. Boom, bam, Brian Street, item number, lot number, date sample. Uh, this one too, same lot number, same item number, Brian Park Solution. I don't know what the factory is. My man got the stuff. He said, yo, they gave him to him. He said, take it. He took it. I got it. I bought it. Well, I ain't buy it. Gave it to me. He said, hey, man, let's take the box. Brian Park. Got it. About to decant all of it out into decants, five mils. And I'm telling you, you might want some of this. It's the one of the cheaper ones, uh, 50 mils, 125. Uh, the 100 mil is 185. Uh, Brian Park, a beautiful looking bottle, uh, made after Fashion Week. This is made for Fashion Week. And uh, I'm telling you, it's very nice. It's made for women, but we know how that is, homeboys. If you ain't worried about your manhood, you don't want nobody stepping up to you. Yo, man, you smell a little rosy because what you want to do. If you ain't worried about that, and you got some oomph, wear this. If you're a little, if you're a little weak in the shorts, and you you know, you might, you might be small in stature, you may not want to wear this. Brian Park, Bond, New York. Check it out. Moving to Mick Moy. Mick Moy, uh... Last night was, uh, was it last night I did a first impression of it? Today it was a wear and a sniff, and a sniff and a wear, a wear and a sniff. Um, it's not Fusion Secret. Um, I wore it last night compared to Fusion Secret. Fusion Secret is a little bit darker, more of it got vanilla in it, which definitely makes it smoother. And um, a little bit more darkness in Fusion Secret. This is all light. And it's too light for me. It reminds me of Apom. Just a bit light. Okay, that's why this is about to hit the road. In a deal, I'm doing a swap deal with, with my man, and uh, it's got to go. Lighten the shorts. Mick Moy is at least more complex, of course, and there's only three notes in this. Three. Three. I forgot what they are. Exactly. Three notes in that, and uh, Mick Moy, about a thousand notes. Y'all know what they are. I'm not going to go through it again. Let's look it up. You're not going to find our friend Granica yet, because it's brand new. It was just launched. It's a nice scent. If you like, if you, I'll tell you what, if you like this in Future Secret, or if Future Secret is too strong for you, but you like a lot of notes blended, Mick Moi. Moi means me. Mick is his name. Mick me. If you like Apom, but you want something a little bit more complex, Mick Moy. I'm going to tell you what I would do with Mick Moy to make it work for me. Let me tell you what I'll do. And I'm going to break it down. That's what I would do with this. There's five level of notes. Let's put it this way. It's five level of notes, all right? I'm not going to go, that's just, just known and breath and birth and north and known and found. There's five level of notes. Blood orange, bergamot, pink grapefruit, and neroli. Fig, clary sage, pedigree, spearmint, and cut grass. 
tuberose, jasmine, rosin, and uh, geranium, sandalwood, cedar, pinon, pine, whole wood, and oud, clove, black pepper, cinnamon, and ginger. Let's start to eliminate some of this stuff and add some more stuff to it. Let's get it out of there. Come on, make this what we're going to do, baby. And we're going to name this Raj Him or Rajio. Whatever you're going to name this, you can make this, but you got to give it some stuff, bro. For dude. For a dude who like darker stuff. This is too light. It's, it's all right if you like light stuff as a man, but I don't know, man. I mean, some guys like that not the DGO type deal and that, that limiting smelling department store stuff. Now, this is not about far a department store. It's definitely niche. You know what I mean? It's definitely complex, but the blend is questionable. The blend is very questionable to me. Um, so let's go with it. Let's get rid of the Neroli because I don't like Neroli. Get rid of Neroli. Big clary sage. You can leave the spearmint in here. One of these roses gotta go. Tuber rose and jasmine gotta go. You can leave the rose of geranium in here because I like geranium. Now. Alright, so tuber rose and jasmine are both of them bam out the door. More sandalwood. Pinone pine out of here. I have it. I smell pinone pine, cinnamon, ginger in this. I smell a lot of the, the foul notes in this. Clove, gotta go. Gotta go. This is not Frederick Mall. This is, it gotta go, man. Clove gotta go. Give me more cedar, baby. Give me that Virginia cedar. Pop that Virginia cedar in there. Get rid of that ginger. Get rid of that clove. Clove, ginger, out of here. More Virginia cedar. Cedar, cedar. That cedar that you get is something like that right there. The armoire. We'll talk about this later. Get that cedar up in there, baby. More cedar. Get rid of the pine. I'm smelling pine. Get, no. No. Gotta go. Pine. Sandalwood. More cedar. More whole wood. More oud. Not too much oud. No overbearing oud. Don't put that Laos oud in there. Get one of them ouds from like, you know, from the people who make Kalamai. Get that oud from them. You know what I mean? Or get the oud from the guy who made soul. From a, from a man. From a man who made Frederick Maul who like clove all the time. At least he didn't put no clove in soul because he would have jacked it all up. You know what I'm talking about? You're talking about that boy. That boy, Dominique Ropien. You know what I mean? Clove gotta go. Clove gotta go, all right? If you wanna make it the way I like it, I'm just telling you, you wanna make it the way I like it, do it that way. But it's a good scent. Would I want my woman to wear it? No. No, I wouldn't like this on a woman. I want, it's too complex for a woman anyway. She wouldn't even know what to do with this. That's why I'm saying, if you knock out some of that clary sage and the fig, and the fig is like not going right with the sage or something, or the sage is not going right with the bergamot and the pink, 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 too much. Too much. The pyramid is just too much. I can't, I can't do it. Longevity, um, I sprayed that next to um, uh, 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 Fugitive Secret last night. Mick Moi on this arm. Fugitive Secret woke up with Fugitive Secret light. McMoi, don't know how I slept, who knows, I could have rolled it off, could have slept more on this side than that side, more of a wall off, I don't know. I like it, if you remake it, as far as this, if I had to, if I really bought it for myself, on a blind buy, I would be a little bit disappointed. If I got to see the nose dog, I wouldn't have bought it, being honest. And uh, if I'm gonna wear this, if I decide to keep this, which I'm not sure I will, I'm not sure, but I would, um, I would wear this, to the office at work. I don't know if I wear it in the summertime, it's just too much. Like you can't wear you can't wear future secret in the summertime, it's too much. It's just too much. It's sage, the blood orange, the, it's it's too much of the blend is not it's too many levels of blend. The dry down doesn't lead the dry down is almost it's not linear. This is not linear by far. It leaves you with maybe I smell ginger this morning. I definitely smell some of the roses. I'm not sure which roses I smell because it's just too many. It's just too many. You gotta break that down. If you're gonna do a five piece pyramid and I was to get this, blood orange, petty grain and cut grass, rose and geranium, sandalwood, cedar wood, whole wood oud, black pepper and cinnamon. All the, everything I didn't name, let's leave it out. Blend it. Put more cedar wood in to get the oomph. Women like cedar wood. Women like cedar wood. 
had a young lady who liked this. This is strong. She liked this. She was like, oh, I like that. She didn't like sit here in the war. She just smelled like old lady's couch. But this right here, I think it's almost the same. She liked this. The cedarwood in this and the incense in this is crazy. Incense. Throw some incense in there, bruh. Can I throw some incense in there? It's too light in the shorts. All right, so it's okay. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with it. I wouldn't mess with it, all right? So, thanks to my man A to the Deuce for having Mick uh, send this out to me. I appreciate it. I appreciate the card and the box and everything. You know, I appreciate the note. I really do. But I told you, if you sent it to me, I'll be honest about it. And like I said, first impression is one thing. And A2 did email me. He's like, yeah, I'm glad you, you know, decided to keep it and like it. I wouldn't mind keeping it just as to have something, but, you know, to have something in my cage to say I do have this. And maybe, maybe another day if I test it, it'll be another thing. But right now, it's just not. But then, there's one time I didn't like Tuscan leather. Later on, I bought 100 mil. So sometimes it happens like that. But right now, right now, maybe because the wintertime was getting cold or cooler, this is not, I'm not feeling this. Maybe in the summertime, I probably would have had a little bit more appreciation for it. So Mick Moy is nice. Would I buy it for me? No. If you like lighter scents like Apom or... If you like the complexity of uh, Future Secree, but you want it a little bit lighter, almost like uh, my man was talking about Sushi Imperial, this would be a nice compliment. If you like Sushi Imperial, you probably would like this as well. Um, yeah, all right, that's that. What I did was I was doing a comparison in my first video before it jacked up to talk about how the complexity of McMoy and how it was talking about how you just put a little bit more cedar and oud in it and then it just brought me to these ambers, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, he doesn't even have amber in this. I mean, I don't know if fragrance doesn't have amber in it or something. So, you know, everybody know amber is an accord. You know what I mean? Still, a bathroom or something? It's, it's sweetness all in the wrong places. You need the sweetness of an amber or an lanthanum or, or a poppinax or something. I'm not sure if poppinax is sweet, but you need a sweetness in there. You need a, you know, cinnamon is okay. But cinnamon, instead of the clove, you'd have paired that cinnamon with some amber, and you probably would have popped off. With some incense, a little light touch of incense. Smoky, a little smoky to it. Smoky. Now, my man, Lanier, he reviewed it. To each his own, we totally disagree. We totally in two different boats with that, all right? Cool. The Dead on Nero, yes, the beast, yes. And that's why I brought these out to compare it to, and I did so. And uh, if I had to do a week of Beasts of Ambers, all these are different. This has the ammonia smell in the opening. It stays longer than the ammonia smell in the opening of Vintage Versailles, Ambre Mediterranean by Perfuma del Forte. This, this, because of the oud, it stays a little bit more. Uh, but man, this joint right here, Beasts. Another from A2. A2 to the Deuce. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so very much. This is on time. That's the bomb. I wore that today. Let's go with uh, 10 hours on the skin. I still can smell it really like 11 hours. Projection, 4 5 hours easy. 4 5 hours, you're going to smell this for 4 or 5 hours. Sillage, everything. Projection, sillage, illage. Get it. If I had to wear another amber with that, if I was doing amber week, that would be part of amber week. No particular, no particular reason why. This is a little bit sweeter than Ladano. And I told y'all, I sprayed. I should have got. I should have got. I should have bought Leilani out here too, but nah, that's alright. Um, I sprayed um, uh, black Afghano as I sprayed Ladano. Uh, the Donald made black ass gonna smell sweet. <laughs> yes. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what that is. Interlude man. Of course, my power amber. Gotta have some open six with that bay leaf. That bay leaf set to support from all the other ambers. All these just do differently. And then I'm a Sultan. I'm a Sultan. My five day lineup for ambers right there. The reason I didn't get Amber Aria by Perfuma Forte, I mean Perfuma Roma, you know why I didn't get that? Because of this. I think this is, I got, I got more juice in this than I get from, from Amber Aria, in my opinion. And this is not far behind, man. 
This is strong. You, you got, if you want to Amber just starting out, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you better get you some Amber some time. Go on, go on Amazon and get you some of that right there. All right? So that's what we got when it comes to the Ambers. That just happened to come up because I was trying to find something dark to put in Mick Moy. And I was also talking about uh, my review and now conclusions on Nero. Nero is the holler at your boy. You better get you some. And don't forget to get these too. You might as well get the Open Six. The Opera Satan, Interlude Fan. A lot of you don't know about this Perfume Del Forte, Opera Mediterranean, Vintage Facility. Get you some of that too, all right? How? Now it's time for the star of the story. I want to let you smell. I've been having so, I've been so fortunate. Um, between A2, uh, sending me these beautiful gifts of McMoy and um, and Ladano and 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 and, and uh, 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 um, Veteran Geranium by Creed. I've been fortunate and also been fortunate to have my man give me four Harris, which I'm sending one to. I'm um, sending one to a uh, A2. He's got one coming to him, and I got A Palm, Ohm, and Film. Those three things, those, all those bottles, Ohm and Film, and uh, Ohm and Film of Apalm, and something else, I got all off of those new sites. Um, Offer Up is one of them. Offer Up is the name of one. Uh, Five Miles is the name of another one. And um, what's the other one? Uh, Wally Pop. Man, I got. I think I got the two Apalms off Wally Pop. I got the. Um, of course, I got the Brian Park and 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 the, and the four Harrods. I met my man. He was posted on Wally Pop, I think, or he was on a he was even or offer up. He was on one of them. That's how I got the Harrods, and that was a gift. I mean, another gift from my man T. You know, Tim, who hooked me up with the Brian Park and the Harrods, man. So you guys have been ultimately very kind to me, and uh, you know I'm gonna be kind to you back. Uh, it's only it's only right. And um, I may not have as much to offer as you guys did, but I do have something to offer. And that's me and, you know, some other things I can offer you as far as the music. Like I said, A2, I'm going to redo that song for you. Of course, like I said, but it's going to be in studio mode when I finish doing it. So it's going straight studio, right to the CD. It might even make, right to the machine. It might even make it on one of my CDs. All right, so we're going to do that. But let's go to the star of the story. Y'all saw the bottle. Y'all saw it was blocking up. This got to go. These two has got to go. There's, there's only room for this. There's only room for this. There's only room for this. I will read it to you. I will read the notes to you right now. Are you ready? It's a rich, modern mix of historically prized artisanal, yeah, artisanal uh, ingredients. Fresh, clean notes of pink pepper, cardamom, Pink pepper, cardamom, lemon, cypress on the top, heart, orange root, cedar, and baseball glove leather accord, a distinctive masculine note inspired by our traditional in leatherware, and a base of patchouli, vetiver, and papyrus. All right, available 95 mil as an EDT. But this is not an EDT, this is a perfume. I know they're talking about EDT. This is perfume. It says it. All D perfume. Pour on. I'll bring it to you slowly. This is my favorite. One of my favorite. It's kind of hard. Newest leather. I smelled this one day. Going to King of Prussia, I stopped in the store because you know I like designer stuff. And when I got there, I saw three of these. And I saw this one. And this is the one that I wanted. Coach number three, Coach Leatherwear. Like I said, I went to the Coach store, I smelled it. They had three of them. One's a little lighter in the shorts. The one in the middle is in between the one lighter in the shorts and this. And this. 
Here's the juice. That's the juice. Baseball gloves. Some people say it smells like car leather. Some people say it smells like this kind of leather. Man, let me tell you. She smelled this. After she smelled the Bryant Park, I was like, smell the Bryant Park. I told you what she said about that. She was like, a man can't pull off Bryant Park, even though it's really, really sweet. Or it's leather. I said, it's for a man, right? She said, it's definitely for a man, right there. Definitely for a man. Ain't no unisex in this. I'm wearing this to bed tonight. I'm gonna shower up, cause I'm wearing McMoy. In fact, no, 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 no. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna wear, it wouldn't be fair to wear McMoy to uh, to work tomorrow. It wouldn't be. I'm gonna wear McMoy to bed tonight. I'm going with McMoy, full blast, full spray hitter tonight. And see what we wake up with. But tomorrow going to work, better wear number three. You better get yourself. $125 a bottle. Go right to the coach store. Or if you can find it someplace else, find it someplace else. From Granite Cut saying you may be able to find it someplace else, it says you can buy two items on eBay. Let's see what they say on eBay where you can get this from. For the people who don't trust eBay. Man, I done bought some of the stuff off of eBay. Must be crazy. There's six bids for $49 so far for this. You know how much I paid for that? $25. You know what I got for $25? Off of Offer Up. Offer up. Young lady, her and her boyfriend broke up. It's been sitting around for almost, I think she like four or five months. Now it's mine. Loser lose, winner wins. And she was cute too. Oh, she was she was so cute I left her message. I said, um, I was afraid to call her. Cause I didn't want to think she gave me a number. This is just for business, you know what I mean? I wanna think I'm gonna be harassing her. So I wasn't gonna call her. I texted and said, I don't know what I was more impressed with. Smelling this again, or you? Cause she was fine. Young girl, she was fine. So if you look at this video there, thank you. Your boyfriend's a loser. I would like to take you out for a bite to eat one day. You may call, you got my number, I won't call you. I won't bother you, we did our business. But this right here, this right here, this right here, why don't you see it all over the place? Why don't you see it all over the place? You got a guy, here we go right here. Sealed, Coach Leatherwear, men's fragrance, 129. That's how much it costs. We got bidding activity, 49. Let's go to completed auctions. See if we have completed auctions from eBay and see what we come up with. Completed auctions, what do we have? Leatherwear, $72, 18 bids. Did I say $25? Because her boyfriend is an idiot. Not only did he give up a beautiful perfume, he gave up a beautiful woman. Unbelievable. But again, winners are winners, losers are hellos, hussers. Holla. So let's recap this, baby. Start the story tonight. I can't spray enough of this, but I won't spray too much because that's not oily. It doesn't leave a lot of oil, but man. Man, man, look at that juice. The juice tells you, the juice tells you it looks like leather in the bottle. It looks like there's coach leather in this bottle, man. If you, I got a whole bunch of coach bags. Well, I got two coach bags. Anytime I'm wearing a coach bag, I'm wearing this right here, no doubt. My outfit gonna be built around this and a coach bag. Come on now. Get it. McMoy, I wish it had a better review for it. Again, I've been wrong before. I didn't like Back to Black. Now I got about 800 mil of Back to Black. Things happen. Right now, this is not for my nose. I would like it reformulated the way I would like it, with a little bit more darker notes in it, incense, cedar wood. I would like a little bit more, a little less of the clary sage and all that, and you can still keep it warming. Let's go light with the other stuff, but darken this up a little bit. Not in color, but in flavor, okay? But McMoy is not bad. Complexity, pretty good. If you like Sushi Imperial, fine. If you like Apom, but a little bit heavier, fine. If you like uh, 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 Fusion Secret, but you, it's a little bit too heavy for you, you want something light, right here. Mick Moy would fit into the place of that. All right? So thank you, A2. Thank you, Mick, for sending this to me. I appreciate you. And again, Ladano. Yes, it's certain. Come on now. Come on. Got to get it. I'm almost out of time. The rest of these, low battery on the iPad. That's it. Uh, I'm out.
A bag of samples. Let me see if I can pull something out. I, I might as well go the whole 3310, right? Let's see if I can pull something out of here and talk about it real quick. Sock. Sock is good. Sock is good for your feet. Yes. If you put sock on, sock will remain on in most instances. For me, that sock is on because a boot. Need another sock for boot. Boot big. New York Amber, like I said, Harris Amber, that's different. Mimo Enel. Enel's pretty good. Enel's pretty good. If you're in the Mimo Enel, I don't know if this be the one to buy. I would look at the leathers, the Italian leather, whatever, but Enel, it's not bad. It's almost, it's almost in the same vibe. I think I said that the other night. If I didn't, I, I meant to. Or no, I didn't have this at the time. It's almost on this vibe, but this is not as complex. And this has a little bit of darkness to it. The Enel got a little bit of something that's gonna make that a little bit darker, you know what I mean? So Enel by uh, Mimo. Donna Karen, you know she got that good joint out there everybody be trying to get at, and it costs like $5,000. But this cashmere mist, it's not bad. I'm keeping this as a rollerball. It's not bad for a rollerball, it's nice. It's nice. Hope you for women. I would roll that on me. Got no problem with that. And Iris 39. Yeah, man. Iris 39 is official. I think if I was to get another, I need I need another I need another Santal 33 though. I gotta have Santal 33. I'm not sure if you cats got Santal 33. If you want a woman and you want to be like a manly, like a Marlboro man, there's not one woman who did not like Santal 33. And you know I like my sandalwoods. More sandalwood, bruh. More sandalwood. Yo, like my sandalwoods. Women like sandalwoods. This Iris 39 is not bad. Wow. It's better than this Iris, because this Iris right here is light in the shorts. This Iris, the boy, is totally different. It's vanilla Iris. You know what I mean? It's like on a vanilla tip. But this Iris right here. This, this Lalabo Iris 39 right here, that Iris right there almost smells chocolatey. And that's when you know you got a good Iris. You get a chocolate feel from it. You get that chocolate feel. Man, man, look, I'm trying to tell you. So, those are the only ones, okay, I just bought those out the bag because they were Lucy's. Not like cigarette Lucy's. I gotta, here we go. Um, Three, two, one, I'm done.